Good morning. Today is Tuesday, the 26th day of Menachem Av. And today we're going to finish the letter 7 of Vigeras HaKadosh, the Alter Rebbe's letters. And a very interesting topic the Alter Rebbe discusses in today's letter, in today's part. And that is, he's talking about how do we know what is our unique mission of each individual individual soul? What is your soul's unique mission? So obviously we know what our mission is because God gave us a Torah and in the Torah we follow the laws, the way it is written, the way it is explained in the oral law, the way it's brought down, the bottom line is the Shulchan Aruch, the Code of Jewish Law. And there's a, that covers every area in life, every day in your life is covered. You need to know, you look in the Shulchan Aruch and you know what you need to do. And obviously, we cannot just rely on ourselves. We have to talk to an authority, a rabbinic authority, to have a personal mentor. As the rabbis also said, we should have a mentor well, sometimes we have questions, what, what is right and what is wrong. We should not rely on our own judgment because people are very biased towards themselves. So, so that is not what, what, that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is there is, in addition to the keeping the Torah, in addition to keeping the, the following the right ways, there is also unique missions that God gives each individual neshama. And that is based on the, the teachings that Al Tareb explained the verse, what we say by prayer, Ashreinu, Matoiv Chalkeinu, Umanoim Gerelena. Ashreinu, how fortunate are we? Matoiv Chalkeinu, how good is our share? Umanoim Gerelena, and how pleasant is our lot? That each person has a share in God. And we explained that in the last two days, what it means. Obviously, God is indivisible. But when he came down here to this world, he condensed and reduced his light and brought it down in a, in a way that it, it is connecting to us through different parts. And that, generally speaking, it is 613 parts. And every neshama, we all connect to the 613 parts. But in addition to that, says the Alter Rebbe, there's also something which is unique for your soul. What makes it unique? And he brings an example, what it says in the Talmud, that they were talking about certain mitzvahs that people were extra careful. Avuch b'may avazoyet fei, as the Talmud quotes, it says, your father, what was his extra careful mitzvah? And that mitzvah, in other words, there is a mitzvah that each neshama is connected with specifically, and that mitzvah allows the neshama to shine. Zahir means careful. Which mitzvah are you careful? B'may avazoyet fei. But Zahir also comes from the word Zohar, which means shining. That you shine through certain mitzvahs. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to read it inside and we're going to explain it further. So let's see what the Alter Rebbe says here. He says the Alter Rebbe, Af shegilu izeh al yedei eisek atayra v'amitzvahs hu shavah b'chol nefesh m'Yisrael b'derech klav. Though this manifestation of light through a person's involvement in the Torah and the commandments is generally equal in every individual Jew. We all equal, we all have the same Torah. Because we all have one Torah and one law. Nevertheless, Bederech Prat, Ein Kol Anefashos, Ve'yeruchois ve'aneshamois shavois be'inyan ze. 
It says, nevertheless, in a more specific way, in regards to this manifestation of light that radiates through the study of the Torah and the performance of the commandments, not every nefesh, not every soul, the soul has here, uh, generally speaking, three levels, nefesh, ruach, and neshama. Nefesh is the lowest part of the soul connected with action. Ruach is the part of the soul connected with emotions. And neshama is the part of the soul connected with the intellect. So it says, not every nefesh, the lowest level of the soul, and ruach, the spirit, the higher level of the soul, and the Shama, yet the higher level of the soul, they're not all equal. For this depends on the period and time of their reincarnation and the coming into this world. So each Neshama has a unique mission for what this Neshama specifically came to this world. So again, in addition to the general mission, which is following the ways of the Torah, there is also a unique mission for each neshama, and that neshama is connected with that, specifically with that mitzvah. As our sages of blessed memory quoted the question, with what commandment was your father most careful? To which the answer was, with the commandment of tzitzis. So we see, obviously, we're talking about a person, a sage that is, a, is careful with every single mitzvah, but yet there was a certain commandment that he asked him, what was he, what was he extra careful? And he told him the tzitzis. He told him this extra careful mitzvah was the mitzvah of tzitzis. In, in addition to that, says the Abba, says, number one, there is the souls, different souls have unique mitzvahs. Soon we'll talk about how do you know which is your mitzvah. In addition to that, likewise, not all generations are the same. So every generation also has certain mitzvahs that this generation is connected with. We know the Rebbe came out with certain mitzvah campaigns. Tzaddikim, they are able to they are able to see what our generation, what is the special mitzvah that our generation needs. So there was a time the Rebbe came out with the with the tefillin campaign. It was the time that the Rebbe came out with the mezuzah campaign. It was interesting that was regarding the mezuzah campaign. This was in the 1970s. The Rebbe came out with a campaign to make sure to every Jewish home should have a mezuzah, the kosher mezuzahs, to, to check the mezuzahs. And there was, a, there was someone that wrote to the Rebbe before the Rebbe came out about we should go out and uh, call for a campaign of mezuzah, and the Rebbe at that time told him that this the time has not come yet. And a few months later, the Rebbe came out with this campaign. <laughs> so obviously, a tzaddik sees what the generation needs. So each generation has its own unique mission. So each individual has a, has, has a mitzvah <laughs> that is connected with that person, and each generation also has the unique mitzvah that is connected with that generation. So, continues the Alter Rebbe, every Adam, just like the organs of a man, call ever yeshloi peula pratisumi yechedes, each organ has its particular and distinctive function, in lirois, noise in lishmoya, the eyes to see, in the ear to hear, so, so too, through each, com- <coughs> through each commandment, <coughs> so the commandments being known as the organs of the king, 
the mitzvahs are considered the organ, the organs of God, so to speak. So there radiates particular and distinctive light from the infinite Ein Sof light in each particular mitzvah. And although every soul needs to be reincarnated in order to fulfill all 613 commandments, so how can we say that the soul comes for a particular mitzvah. Nevertheless, says the Alter Rebbe, yes, it's true we need to fulfill all mitzvahs, but there is one mitzvah that shines in us extra, and for that particular mitzvah, you give extra attention. It says, This heightened attention, focus, and a particular commandment is necessary only for the sake of an additional measure of vigilance and zeal. Being extra careful with a particular mitzvah. A zeal doubly and exceedingly elevated and powerful. You, you giving very, very much more attention to this particular mitzvah, le maila maila mezirus shara mitzvahs, far surpassing one zel in the fulfillment of the other commandments. Zeu sheoma be mai hava zoyut fe. Hence, the words most used by the above quote, uh, quoted individual. He asked him when, when he asked uh, what, uh, with what commandments was your father most careful. He didn't. He didn't ask him what mitzvah was your father careful with. Ask him what mitzvah was your father most careful. Tfei daike, that the that the stress and the most. Okay, so this is the additional mitzvah that the person knows that this is his mitzvah. Is the mitzvah that he's careful with, extra careful. This, says the Alter Rebbe, is manayim goyreleinu, how pleasant is our lot. Because we explained yesterday and the day before about the shares, matayv chalkeinu, how good is our share, our portion. And we explained that there's portions of light and each mitzvah, the, the Torah is divided to 613 commandments, the six, 613 general neshamas, and we all connect it through the different portions. And that, when you're saying a portion, you're giving, when you divide a portion to, to a people, it is a division that is done based on logic. This neshama needs this, this neshama needs that. That, that is a logical division. But when you say, when you talk about a lot, it's like when you win a lottery. When a, when let's say a million people join a, a lottery, and uh, one person wins, is there a logical explanation why that person wins the lottery? No, it's beyond logic. Or when two people divide things, like it says, the Eretz Israel, the land of Israel, was divided. It was supposed to it was divided by casting a lot, a lottery. So that also it is because their connection to their particular part in this in the in the land is not based on logic. It is above logic. It is super logical. That is why that mitzvah that your particular neshama, your particular soul is connected with, is a is is a is it's not something that can be explained logically why your soul is connected to this. It is a deeper connection with God, which surpasses logic, and that's why he calls it Goraleinu, our lot. How pleasant is our lot? So we're not just talking about generally how fortunate we are to be Jewish. He's talking about specifically how each individual should. Thank Hashem and to be happy for the fact 
that Hashem gave you a part in his Torah, and also that he gave you a specific mitzvah, which is just like a, a lottery that you, Neshama, is connected with specifically. That's what Dalt Rebbe says. Now, the su- superiority of, the, of this individual light that is bestowed upon individual souls through the performance of a particular mitzvah, a particular commandment, this is not in the car- category of apprehensible reason. But it, it, it transcends it transcends the knowledge, the knowledge, understanding. It is beyond. And what is it? For thus it, ero- it arose in God's thought, so to speak, that certain souls be granted additional illumination through the performance of, of a particular commandment. And it models below, its model below is truly the concept of a lot. So the fact that one person wins a lot while others do not is like, likewise not in the category of apprehensible reason. Rather, so has it been deemed from above as the verse indicates, the lot is cast into the lap, and from God is its disposition. So, so this is the idea here. It says that the specific mitzvah that each individual has is something which comes like from a lottery. Now to the question, how do we know what is our particular mitzvah? So number one, as we said, we have the tzaddikim, we have the Rebbe. I'm fortunate to know to, that the Rebbe gives us guidance to talk about the general, what the, what the generational particular mitzvahs are. Like in the the, 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 mit, the mitzvah campaigns, putting them to filling, putting them in mezuzah, and the latest campaign, what the Rebbe said, is to prepare the world for Mashiach. That's in general. But specifically, when you're talking about the individual, so it's brought down in Hasidus, Rebbe talks about it in Sichus many times, about two ways of knowing and it's, uh, what is your mission of your soul. And the two ways seem to be two opposite ways. And one, and one, one way is when a person feels that a certain mitzvah is his. In other words, you find yourself, God puts us in by divine providence, Ashgacha Pratis, God, God puts us in certain situations, in certain areas, he, placed, he places us in a certain place so that we live in this particular place. And what we see when we come across anything we come across, that comes across in our lives, if we happen to be learning a certain profession and we're good at it so we got to find what is the way we can use it out in serving Hashem every person fi- finds that when you, you you have to keep your eyes open as the saying for the Baal Shem Tov goes is that when you see something you got to do something the saying when you see something say something was on the billboards in the subway in the New York City the Baal Shem Tov says, when you see something, do something. When you see something that comes that you can do, that means Hashem wanted you to see it. That means that this is something that you particularly need to do it. In addition to that, there is another way of knowing what is your particular neshama connected with. So there are certain things that we find it very hard to do. Certain things that is hard. Some people, for them, it's hard to pray. So 
it could be that these people, the neshama, the Yetzirah knows that there's a certain mitzvah, that this mitzvah will give you extra light from above. Because the light of a goral, the light that comes from the level of goral, the lot, is a light that surpasses knowledge, as the Alter explained. It's beyond. So therefore, the Yetzirah will try to stop you. You know, even Adam and Eve, we know that uh, the first original sin, when they were created, God told them not to eat from the tree of knowledge. And as it says in the Kabbalah, that the prohibition was valid only for a few hours. If they would have waited for three hours until Shabbos would have would come in, they would be allowed. And yet, somehow, in some unexplained way, the Yetzirah, the Satan, the snake, call him what you want, was so forceful, was so powerful, that they could not resist until the few hours has passed, and they committed a sin. It is because when a person, when the Yetzirah sees that there is certain thing that is very powerful, very strong, a great light is about to come, the Yitzhara tries to push the person as, with, with all the force that he has. And that is why when we see a certain mitzvah that is difficult for us to do, that may be very well uh, may very well may be an indicator that this is that mitzvah that brings the extra light to our neshama. So either way, whatever way it is, for the mitzvahs that we find ourselves capable, talented, we find ourselves in a situation to be able to help, we should realize that this may be the mitzvah. And the other and the other mitzvah also, that things that are difficult also, we should realize to overcome and be strong because at the end of the day, Hashem does not demand from a person to do something that he or she cannot do. And if there is a mitzvah that God wants us to do, God gives us also the ability, the strength. Sometimes you just have to do the first push and you realize that the difficulty was just an illusion. It was not so difficult after all. The first push we need to do. So this is the end of today's share. Thank you so much for joining. And we shall continue with Zrat Hashem tomorrow. Don't forget, share this. Share this with your friends, with your family. Let them uh, enjoy this mitzvah, this uh, shiurim of the Tanya, the daily shiur. All the best. We'll see you tomorrow. Any questions?